Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. Today's video is going to be a update on pretty much everything that's going on. So pregnancy update, our you know living situation, how our house is going, and just basically everything. So if you're new here, my name is Brittany. I am a mom to three girls. One is currently baking. I'm 35 weeks pregnant with my third daughter, Everly. And then I have a five-year-old, Layla, and a one-year-old, Aurora. So life is pretty crazy, pretty chaotic, but so, so blessed. Like I said, I am 35 weeks pregnant. I did have an OB appointment the other day, and I do get an ultrasound every single appointment because this is a high-risk pregnancy. If you're new here and you don't know what's going on, I highly recommend you go back and watch my previous pregnancy videos. I'll leave like a little link up here that you guys can click. So that way you can go back into my playlist. I think it's titled Everly's Pregnancy. So that way you guys can, you know, get informed on what's going on and everything. Making it to 35 weeks pregnant, I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this far. It's just mind-blowing that there's five weeks left or less that is so crazy so if i say i'm 35 weeks pregnant in this video over and over i apologize it's just i'm so excited i'm so blessed so let's talk about how i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty great other than my back has been killing me so bad but i feel like everything that i've been feeling lately is just you know your normal aches and pains that come with the third trimester the belly is definitely growing i will give you guys a better bump shot at the end of this video like i always do but man you guys see that she's like popping out now i did have an ob appointment the other day so i'll enter that footage right here great still no swelling my fluid looks great in there everly is still extremely active this girl kicks me all day long her heartbeat was super strong she looks as great as she can be i gave a urine sample like i always do that came back great but yeah that's pretty much it for our pregnancy update right, let's talk about our living situation if you guys follow us on instagram then you guys already know what's going on but if you don't know what's going on our family is separated yet again benny actually left this morning and what i mean by that is he has to start work in a few days his work is about a two and a half hour drive from my mom's house where we've been staying where we've been living for like the past few months where us girls have been living for the past few months benny has been with us for literally only a month so we barely got him back and he's leaving already which sucks. I actually have some footage of him leaving and we were an emotional wreck. There was lots of tears shed. I'll insert that footage right here. No crying. It's okay, baby. Daddy's gonna go to work. Service up there. <laughs> I know you're gonna cry too. I'll see you soon, I promise. Okay?
love you guys. Love you. Okay, I promise. I love you. Okay, love you. And beyond. <laughs> but basically, what's going on is, like I said, Benny has to report back to work. He is in the military, so, you know, he can't miss work. He has to go. His work is about a two and a half hour, about like two hours and 45 minute drive away from my mom's house where we're staying. Our house is not ready yet. My closing date for our house is supposed to be August 10th. We did send in our list of repairs that we want them to make before we move in. They just got back to us this morning and they're basically going to repair every single thing except for one thing that was on our list. Kind of a bummer because that one thing on our list was the microwave is way too close to the stove because the microwave is like right on top of the stove if that makes sense. But it's way too low so if I cook things on high heat that may warp underneath the microwave a little bit which is kind of a big deal so we're gonna have to figure out something with that i'm actually pretty surprised that they're going to fix everything else i mean there was nothing major on our list that we needed fixed for the house but it was quite a bit like all of the screens have to be put on the windows one of the windows um in the master bedroom was kind of shattered we needed them to look at you know our ac and our heater there's wires exposed in the garage that we wanted to you know be covered up what else there was just like a bunch of little things here and there so it was nothing major like i said the house is supposed to close on august 10th they're going to start repairing everything that was on our list and then unfortunately benny is going to have to move into the house by himself which i feel so bad These girls ended up leaving hawaii sooner than benny so he did the entire move out like inspection and he had to pack everything and basically he had to deal with everything himself so i feel so bad having him you know move all over again into a new house by himself like i said i'm 35 weeks pregnant so it makes no sense for me to move all of my doctors move all of my hospitals and everything foreverly to you know where our house is going to be because like I said, that's like a, at least it's like a two and a half hour drive. So it makes no sense for me to move all of my doctors, all of my specialists. I'm already, you know, registered at the hospital near my mom's. So it makes no sense for me to move everything out there. Especially when we're not even moving into the house until after August 10th. Because that's the closing date, like I said. And then my due date is August 31st. So that's just cutting it way too close. So... Unfortunately, we're going to have to be split up for at least another month. Kind of just depends on when Everly makes her appearance. The plan is Benny's going to stay with his dad for the time being because his dad's house is about like a 15 minute drive from where our new house is. And then his dad's house is about like, I want to say like a 30 or less minute drive from where Benny's work is. So the plan is for him to stay at his dad's house until he can move into the new house. And then after Everly is born, us girls will move into the new house with him. Life is pretty crazy right now because I feel like we've just been bouncing from house to house and it's so crazy, but it's just, it's just the best scenario for us right now. Whenever I do go into labor with Everly, I'll get a hold of Benny and let him know what's happening. I'm pretty positive his work will let him drive down, but he hasn't even met like any of his leadership or anything. So... Hopefully, baby girl at least stays in my belly just until Benny gets settled at work. So that way he can explain the situation and let them know that like I'm a two and a half hour drive away. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So like I said, closing date for our house is August 10th. My due date for Everly is August 31st. Baby watch has officially begun. I do have a pre-recorded video that will go up when I am in labor with Everly, when I'm in the hospital, I will set that video to go public. That way you guys, you know, know what's going on. That way you guys can imagine how I've been feeling lately just because, you know, I'm so close to finally meeting Everly. And I'm just so ready to meet her and say hello. 
but it also may be a goodbye so i'm sure you guys can imagine how i'm feeling as always thank you guys so much you know for keeping up with our family and for sending us prayers and love i always read all of your guys' sweet comments so thank you so much as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to the man family and make sure you hit that bell button it's so important that that bell button is clicked so that way you guys always get notified i will see you guys in my next video bye guys It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life?